I just want to make sure that this wedding is off the Richter scale, basically. I want to do this sort of fairy tale ending, capturing the kind of the winter, like Christmassy. Right. So, what I'm thinking in Central Park in New York, there is actually a big sort of Alice in Wonderland statue. Right. Okay. So, it's going to be <laughs> an Alice in Wonderland fairy tale wedding in New York. Okay. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Well, that's me, yeah. yeah. Really <laughs> glad you said that. I was like <laughs> thinking that you were going to go, no, nah, that's not going to work. I reckon you want to go 17th to 20th. He's looking into flights for a wedding in New York. If we budget 400 quid, that's worst, worst case scenario. Yeah. I think around 70 guests would be the perfect amount for a wedding. Hannah's got a plus one. Flying 70 people to New York would cost over £25,000. With only 12,000 for everything, Joanne's planning something much smaller. We need to sort of work out how many people we can take, who's not going to be too upset, <laughs> whether we care. <laughs> so, yeah. Problem solved. Scrap 53 names off your guest list and you're down to 17 people. Easy. Do it. Book these flights. Book them. Do it. Let's just not think about it. We'll put it, put it to the back of our minds. <laughs> So on his first day of wedding planning, Mr. Oh, it'll be all right, blows over £7,000 on 17 flights, leaving him just 5000 to pull off the wedding of Alice's dreams. <laughs> that's, that's well loads of money. God. He'll send Alice and her mum to New York three days before the wedding under the pretense that they're on a hen -do. The rest of the guests will arrive the day before the ceremony. Ever heard of jet lag? It is getting a bit exciting. <laughs> Joanne can only afford to take one best man with him to make all the preparations, so it's up to 26-year-old full-time gardener James to pitch in. There are no regrets. Too far down the rabbit hole, James. Oh, too down. They're way too far down the rabbit hole and without a shovel in sight. An eight-hour flight later and the boys are in New York. There's only two weeks till the wedding and they've done no research. But I'm sure Joanne's got Alice on his mind. That is the biggest rack I've ever seen. It's like 20-foot boobies on a board. That's amazing. <laughs> and that's not all that's big. Everything's just big. The roads are big, the cars are big. You literally can't see the top of the buildings because they're just so high. Finally, on top of the Empire State Building, they get the big picture. Basically, we do need to get down there again at some point, and we need to sort out a reception venue, a ceremony venue, wedding dress. We've yeah. got a lot of stuff to do. On the eighth day of wedding planning, Alice's true love is in Central Park. He's looking for the ceremony location he's had his heart set on from the start. This statue of Alice was the sole inspiration for flying three and a half thousand miles across the Atlantic. Big, isn't it? Massive, yeah. yeah. It's in your face, like, Gee, bit cheesy. It's a bit cheesy, isn't it? Shame he spent seven grand on flights for a statue he doesn't like. I don't know, I think it's like too much. I think I definitely wouldn't want to get married here, because I think it's, well, obviously it's cruel in the kids. But at the same time, I'm torn, because it's like this whole trip coming to New York has been because of this. But do I actually want to use it in the wedding? Mm. I just don't know. Maybe a photo. The statue might be ruled out, but getting married in the park is free. So the boys have no choice but to keep exploring other options. It's pretty fairy tale here, isn't it? It's yeah, castle. That. Belvedere Castle. This hits cool. the nail on the head. Yeah. Fairy tale, doesn't it? That is well fairy tale. The castle is a 19th century novelty tourist attraction. Yeah. Look at this turret. That's proper fairy tale, isn't it? It might look grand, but it's tiny inside and a ceremony would have to take place in the courtyard. I think it's really nice. Where else can you go and get married in a castle? I mean, I know it's only a little castle, but yeah, yeah. Where, can, where else can you get married in a castle for, like, next to nothing? And that's the venue sorted. Joanne's demure bride will be married outdoors, in winter, beside a novelty castle crawling with tourists. Should be fine, as long as it doesn't rain.